Donald Trump and Suzanne Somers were both major celebrities of the 1980s who managed to stay very much in the spotlight for decades after first becoming household names. But what did the late sitcom star really think about the former president? Broadly speaking, the majority of Hollywood leans towards progressive, liberal causes when it comes to politics. A number of big-time celebs have lent their cachet to Democratic candidates for president in recent elections. Elizabeth Banks spoke at the Democratic National Convention in 2016 in support of Hillary Clinton. Tom Hanks helped raise $750,000 in one day for Joe Biden in 2020. And even Taylor Swift, who had kept her political beliefs relatively quiet in past presidential elections, came out to publicly support Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in 2020. But that doesn't mean that every Hollywood celeb automatically votes blue and supports Democratic politicians. A lot of Hollywood actors are broken birds, you know, as children, uh -huh. and uh, they want to do good. When it comes to Suzanne Somers, who sadly passed away in October 2023, she was a fan of President Donald Trump. When the TV legend, best known for her time on Three's Company and Step by Step, was asked by TMZ in 2018 what she thought about Trump's first year in office, in the midst of a government shutdown, she said, I'm happy about him. I'm happy that the economy is doing so much better. Summer's TMZ interviewer said it was rare to find someone in Los Angeles who is publicly supportive of Donald Trump. And Alan Hamill, Suzanne Summer's husband and business partner, agreed. Summers laughed, and she joked about how telling people that she liked Trump would mean an end to her career. Summer's film and TV jobs weren't very frequent in the years before her support for Trump. One of her most recent TV appearances was in 2015 on Dancing with the Stars. But she was also a promoter and co-owner of The Thigh Master, the fitness product that was perhaps most popular in the 1990s, but is still available today. And she launched an organic beauty and skincare line. Her support for Trump doesn't seem to have shuttered either of those businesses. While Summers may have been happy with what Trump was doing as president, that doesn't mean that she always voted Republican. In 2012, Summers told HuffPost, My politics are very personal. I am an independent and vote the candidate, never the party. Summers wouldn't be the first person in Hollywood to say that supporting Donald Trump has the potential to tank a Hollywood career. Antonio Sabato Jr. told Variety that after the 2016 election, he was, quote, blacklisted. And during a 2021 appearance on Tucker Carlson Today, Kirstie Alley said she realized how bad it was for her in Hollywood to reveal she was a Trump supporter. The Trump presidency wasn't the only time that Summers noted that it could be a bad decision to speak out in Hollywood if your political leanings and opinions didn't match your peers. In 2014, when Barack Obama was president, Summers spoke on Fox Business about how being political could cause problems. It's become divisive in in the industry that if you not are not part of the group, you probably should keep your thoughts to yourself. According to conservative political commentator Joe DeGeneva, who served as U.S. Attorney of the District of Columbia in the 80s, Summer's pro-Trump sentiments didn't come without a price. During a WMAL radio interview, DeGeneva explained that he and his wife had become close with Summers and her husband, Alan Hamill, after being introduced by mutual friends. DeGeneva explained, we became close friends because they were really conservative politically. She was a fabulous human being, and she had the equally great benefit of being a great conservative. While Summers may not have lost her career over her political beliefs, she allegedly did lose friends, with the lawyer adding that her longtime buddy, Barry Manilow, actually severed ties with Summers due to their ideological differences. Despite this claim, Manilow shared a tribute to Summers on social media noting that they had been friends for decades. Summers certainly seemed to have courted some conservative friends over the years, with figures like former Assistant Secretary for Public Affairs, Monica Crowley, Fox commentator, Tammy Bruce, and even Donald Trump himself posting tributes to the sitcom icon.